My name is Oren Ergas and I'm a member of the Faculty of Education here at Bait Vale College. The field that I work in is called Contemplative Education. Contemplative Education is a field that involves the incorporation of practices such as mindfulness, yoga, tai chi in education from pre-K to higher education. When we practice such practices, we turn our attention inward. And usually what we do in classes, whether in higher education or in secondary primary education, uh, we usually attend out. I mean, we look at the board, we listen to the teacher, we engage in classroom discussion and so forth. But when you practice mindfulness, yoga and so forth, contemplative practices, then your attention goes in and what you explore is your embodied experience. The field of contemplative education uh, has evolved in the past two decades basically based on two kind of um, sources. The first is the origins of these practices, which are ancient. They begin millennia ago with Buddhism, Taoism, and other wisdom traditions from which these practices evolved. But the other source is the science behind these practices. This creates a very interesting blend of science and wisdom traditions which uh, traditionally were kind of enemies. And what I do in my research is I sort out these uh, problems that wisdom traditions had or didn't have with science and vice versa. So normally uh, when we speak of education, we kind of think of schools. When we think of schools, we're not used to seeing yoga there or meditation. We're much more used to seeing students doing math, doing geography, history, or whatever. Why would a child now meditate instead of, say, study more history or study more geography or so forth? This means that we need to reconceptualize what education actually means. And this reconceptualization is what I do in my work. But the truth is that I'm not inventing anything. What I do is I actually draw connections between the meaning of education as it used to be treated um, in philosophy of education, in Plato and Socrates and so forth. Looking also at East Asian traditions, I mean, what would the Buddha mean uh, when he thought about education? And when you look at it that way, then the origins of the contemplative practices that I speak of and the origins of education begin in the same place. Another field that I work in is teacher education. I write about teacher education and I study experiences of teachers as they learn to practice mindfulness. What this means is that in the courses that I teach here at Beit Beryl, mindfulness practice is a core practice that we learn. So I see mindfulness practice here as a core pedagogy that allows these teachers to connect to themselves first and foremostly. And hopefully when they go out and teach the students, they will embody a deep connection to who they are and to the kind of values that they see as important to their view of education.